Hello, 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 and welcome to EVE Online. I'm Sir Jaxi, and I will be your guide through the vast universe of New Eden. Now, I've been wanting to play EVE for a long time. However, I've stayed away from it because I didn't want to commit to the game. EVE is a massively multiplayer online game. Um, unlike any other MMO out there, it is a subscription-based game, one of the few remaining. And it has a huge learning curve. It wasn't so much a financial commitment of, you know, the monthly subscription that I was trying to stay away from. It was that EVE requires a great deal of time commitment. Well, as some of you know, I've recently started up this new channel, and it's been partnered with Marky Dragon Network. And Marky Dragon has a long history with EVE, and he also... You know, they also sell the EVE time codes and starter packs within the Marky Dragon store. Well, my point of contact for MDN took, and when I mentioned to him that I was thinking about playing EVE because they had a starter pack on a flash deal for the Steam Winter Sale, uh, he said, well, you know, if you're really serious and you, got, you want to play it and do videos... Here's a Min Minmatar Bounty Hunter Starter Pack. Uh, can't get better than that. Now, on Marky Dragon's store, they also have where you can get, instead of the standard 2-week or 14-day trial, you can get a 21-day trial. So, I grabbed a 21-day trial off from, off from there. And then I put the Mimitar Bounty Hunter Starter Pack onto it. And that gives me, you know, the Mimitar Pack comes with, I should say, I should back up and say, it comes with a um, Slasher Frigate, which is a ship. It comes with a bunch of different boosters and, you know, add, you know, add on things. And it comes with 30 days of gameplay. So when I added that to my 21 day trial, that gives me 51 days of gameplay. So we're going to jump in, we're going to see what we can do, and if we can actually learn how to play the game in those 51 days, then I'm going to continue on with the series. So here we are right at the beginning, and we need to choose our race. There are four different races. There's the Amar, the Galente, the Minmatar, and the Kaldari. So let's take a look at each of them. And the Amar Empire is the largest and oldest of the four empires, ruled by a mighty empress. This vast theoretic society is supported by a broad foundation of slave labor. Amar citizens tend to be highly educated and fervent individuals, and as a culture, Amar adheres to the basic tenet that what others call slavery is in fact one step on a indentured person's spiritual path toward fully embracing their faith. Despite several setbacks in recent history, the Empire remains arguably... arguably... The Empire remains arguably the most stable and militarily powerful nation-state of New Eden. Okay, then we have the Galente and the Galente are champions of liberty and defenders of the downtrodden. The Galente play host to the only true democracy in New Eden. 
some of the most progressive leaders, scientists, and businessmen of the era have emerged from its diverse peoples. A pioneer of artificial intelligence, the Federation relies heavily on drones and other automated systems. This is not to detract from the skill of their pilots, though. The Galente Federation is known for producing some of the best and bravest the universe has to offer. That looks like a pretty decent race. And we have the Minmatar, once a thriving tribal civilization. The Minmatar were enslaved by the Amar Empire for more than 700 years, until a massive rebellion freed most, but not all, of those held in servitude. The Minmatar people today are, re are resilient, ingenious, and hardworking. Many of them believe that democracy, though it has served them well for a long time, can never restore what was taken from them so long ago. For this reason, they have formed a government truly reflective of their tribal roots. They will forever resent the Amarians and yearn for the days before the Empire's accursed ships ever reached their home skies. Okay, that's a possibility. And then we have the Kaldari. Founded on the tenets of patriotism and hard work, that carried its ancestors through hardships on an inhospitable home world. The Kaldari state is today a corporate dictatorship, led by rulers who are determined to see it return to the meritoric ideals of old. Ruthless and efficient in the boardroom, as well as on the battlefield, the Kaldari are thriving emblems of strength, persistence, and dignity. Alrighty then. So, we're going to do Kaldari or Galente. Galente or Kaldari. Let's go with Galente. Okay, so now we got to choose our bloodline. Genmei. The nation of Genmei is the latest addition to the Federation. They took to the stars comparatively late, as it took generations for them to transform their rigorous caste system enough for qualified people not to be excluded through class-based discrimination. Despite being at odds with the libertarian culture of the Galente, the caste system has not been completely eliminated, nor is it likely to be further discouraged by the federal government due to its cultural implications. Interesting, so a different type of government within government. Intaki. The Intaki are one of the largest ethnicities of the Federation. Exceedingly gifted communicators, they are prominent among the federal bureaucracy. Though mostly assimilated into Galante culture, they still cling to their own identities and beliefs, most notably their unusual theories regarding death and rebirth. These theories give them a unique outlook on life and the living, and many attribute the Intaki's stoic nature to this philosophy. Okay, and then we have the Galente Galentes. Galente, Galenteans value freedom and individual liberty above all else. Founders of the only true democracy of New Eden, they have created an ethnically diverse, culturally rich, progressive society that encourages enterprise and initiative in its citizens. While slow to anger and occasionally indecisive, they are also capable of harnessing enormous military and economic resolve when truly tested. Well, let's be a pure blood. Let's go with Galente.
Okay, now we get to choose our person. I have clothes open. Okay, so let's go with a random one to begin with. See what they come up with. Randomize all. Oh, that's interesting. Wow, I like the hair. It, I mean, I like the way it moves and all. Well, we can get all sorts of different angles. Zoom out. Okay. Toggle close. Okay, we can be naked too. Okay, mouse wheel zooms. Let's do another random. I like that face. Not sure I like other things though. So. Um, complexion. Oh, I like that. See what that one. No, that's too yellow. Uh, okay, that works. Young. Let's give her a little bit more freckles. I like that. We can give her freckles. Turn the freckles up. Why well, won't let me turn up my freckles? I want to take the scarring off. I don't like scarring. Never have. Is there a weight? There we go. There. There we go. More freckles. That's a very interesting hairdo that I will not be keeping. But I do like the eyes. That's pretty good. Oh, that's even better. What color eyes do we want? Blue? How close can we come in? Oh, we can come really close. Good. I do like that. Not too big. Keen on these eye colors. Is there a good green? Not really. Huh. Are the eye colors changing at all? They don't seem to be. Ah, oh, there we go. Okay, yeah, they are. That I like. Okay, so we got our eyes. What do we got for hair? Lots of hairstyles. Wow. Okay, so we can also change... Huh. Long hair, I like that. But we can also change not only the hair color, but the root color. I like that. We can also change the eyebrow color to more closely match the hair color. I like the long hair, but I don't like that hairstyle. I'm not going to go through all these hairstyles, and when I find one I like, I'll probably stick with it. Eleven. I like that one. What else we got? Nope. 
Let's get the mohawk. Don't like mohawks. Eh, that's not too bad. Man, look at the way that hair moves. I really like that. I've never been one for the slick back hairstyles. Oh, that's nice. No, too much in the eyes. No, I don't like that one. Oh. I like... No. What number was it? 11, I think, that I said I liked? We'll stick with 11 for now. Now do we want it darker or do we want it the lighter red? Or more of a brown than a red. Oh, I like that. Why do these things keep lighting up? What does that do? If I hold that down, nothing. Okay. Oh, wow. You could actually move. Oh, too cool. You could actually sculpt their faces. I'm assuming it's not just their faces, it's other body parts as well because... Oh, well, why wouldn't it be? Anywhere that lights up, you can actually grab hold of and move. That is too cool. Wow, and I thought Aeon had a good, good character creator. And it's kind of odd. I wouldn't necessarily expect that from from this game. You know, I always thought of Eve as being, you know, spaceships. And you don't actually have personal character development as much as you have, you know, learning skills of flying spacecrafts and stuff. So, um... This is, I, I'm hoping I may actually be wrong on that aspect and that you actually do have, have a personal character development. I'll we'll have to wait and see. Because if they're going to take the time to have you actually develop out your character like this, then I would assume that you would also take and have a reason for it. Okay, so that's enough on the hair. Makeup. Oh, I hate doing makeup. I may just totally randomize this section. That actually looks pretty good. Take a quick look here. Ooh, wait, I want to see this. Ooh, I like that. Okay, that's all I'm going to do in makeup. I don't want to take and do a lot of time. Well, suppose I can look at the lipstick. Let's do that. Okay. 
clothes. Clothes make the person. Okay, outer clothes. Tops. Bottoms. Feet. And glasses. Interesting. Let's do a randomization here. Ooh, I like that jacket. Take the jacket off, but see the top. Top I like better. I like that top. What is this tuck thing? Oh wow, you can actually change the way you have the shirt tucked. How interesting. Let's go with that tuck. Not much of a tuck with the pants. I like those pants. Are there any other pants I might like? Don't like the brown. No. No. Eh, maybe. Ah, there. I like those. We gotta go with those. Okay, feet. I like those boots. So far, I'm liking the first pair of boots best. In or out? Hmm. Yeah, I like the first ones. Wish there was a way... Ah, there is. You just hold in drag and you can go through them relatively quickly. Now for those boots, I want them in. Okay. And then glasses. Do we want glasses? Oh, those are a little big. Why does the glasses not seem to be changing? Yep, there we go. More just a tint. The size of the glasses hasn't been different at all. Ah, here we go. No, don't like those. But it changed the size at least. Size and shape. Now, again, I think I'm just going to go with the first pair. No glasses. Might go with no glasses. Because these actually don't really look like they're changing the tone of the glasses like they're supposed to be. Yeah, I'm going to grab that, this first pair, just because if I don't have glasses, um, then I'm afraid that I won't have to buy them later on if I want them. Whereas if I have them, I'm hoping I'll be able to take them off. No, I'm really not liking them. You know what? I'm not going to do glasses. Okay, so... 
body modifications. Piercing. Want any piercings? Maybe a couple of earrings, but why are they not showing up? Oh, there they are. I like those. No, so I want high gear rings. So I want nose ring. <laughs> Makes it look like a ball. Oh, that's cute. That looks like a booger. A blue bugger. Yeah. I like that one. But no, we're not going to do a nose ring. Okay. Do our foot niece. I don't think we want to lip ring. Oh, it's got a little diamond. Ah, it's cute. And who takes and thinks about these things? There are literally dozens of lip piercings. I think I'm going to go with this one though. I kind of like that. It's different. Okay, tattoos. Let's see if there's anything that catches my eye really quick here. I'm really not seeing anything I like. Oop, I take that back. Oh, wow. Yeah, I like that. Can we make it blue? We sure can. Turn down the opacity a little. I like that. Okay. I'm not going to do scars. Prosthetics? No prosthetics. Okay. So it looks like we are done on that. Not bad. Okay, next. Okay, what are these? Let's see, help. The portrait step allows you to pose your character, select backgrounds, and set up lighting for the portrait that will be used to represent you in-game. Facial expressions and head positions are changed by left-clicking directly on the character and holding down the button then moving the mouse to alter the area selected. To alter the camera's position, blah blah blah. Okay, so we're taking their picture. Oh, that just looks cool. What do we have for backgrounds? like the black. Hmm. 
Uh, yep, I think the first background. Well, that one works too. Man, there's a ton of backgrounds. There we go. So we click, hey, there, perfect. Now let's see if we can't actually make her smile. Maybe, I don't know if I'd call that a smile. Yeah, seriousness. Snap. There we go. It's a little bit of a smile. Snap. And how about getting like a side one with her tattoo? Snap. There we go. Okay, next. That was too hard about poses. I mean, I suppose we can look at poses real quick just to see. Let's replace that one. There. Okay. Next. Okay, choose your ancestry. Immigrants. No other nation is as welcoming to immigrants as the Galante Federation. Between the huge demand for labor, the liberation culture, and social policies of the government, hard-working immigrants of every race, creed, and color can build a dream life in the Federation, the land of opportunity. Well, I don't see it being an immigrant. I mean, I'm a Galente Galente, so that doesn't work. Miners, while well, every... While every space-fearing nation relies on mining, the rich bounty of space for resources, the Galante esteemed their miners as the key providers that supported the rise of their civilization. Mining is a cultural icon of the Federation, which credits the pioneers of this industry as having selflessly braved the remote dangers of space to help pave the way for exploration and growth, driven by consumerism and ambitious mega projects, the Galante Federation continues to generate heavily heavy demand for minerals and, as a matter of national pride, lose dependence on other nations to acquire them. And activists. Galente citizens tend to be more politically aware than the citizens of other nations, and many devote their efforts towards one or more of a multitude of causes that suit their ambitions. For such an activist, things might not be perfect, but things will never change for the better unless someone has the courage to fight the good fight. So do I want to be a miner? Or do I want to be an activist and fight the good fight? I think I'll be an activist. And my education. Federal Navy Academy. The Federal, the Federation Navy, where all Galente cadets are enlisted, has recently begun upholding extremely strict standards of professionalism for its cadets. The result of these standards draconian even for a military school 
is a leaner, meaner academy with much stricter entry requirements than before and more effective tutoring. University of Calais. The largest school in the universe at almost half a million students, the University of Calais has long acted as a melting pot for cultures and ideas from all over as benefits its status. It offers a wide range of studies but is best known for its extensive anthropology department. Or the Center for Advanced Studies. Originally conceived as a think tank for researchers at Chemical Tech, the Center for Advanced Studies, the breeding grounds for future Galente industrialists, evolved into an independent educational facility that today is considered one of the very best technical schools in the universe. That sounds like the one I want. Okay. Me, Lady Jaxie. Check availability. That's available. What about Lady Jaxie? Jaxie Silver Wall. Ah, uh, we can't put space. Silver Star? Uh, silver Wolf. How's that work? That's available too. I like that. Lady Jaxie Silver Wolf. This is where we're going to stop for tonight, because we've been playing for about half an hour. So, we got our little tutorial, it looks like, down the lower right-hand corner. Um, introduction in your own time. Click next when you're ready to begin the tutorial. And then we've got Intership Hanger Undock. LP Store. Science and Industry, so this must be our university. And then this is everything else we have. It's a whole bunch of stuff. Open Eve menu. Open character sheet. Okay, we'll get into all of this the next time. Assuming Eve menu has where we can actually exit the game. Pair tool, people, places, inventory, no. Okay. Tutorial, help. I may need help. How do I leave the game? And these are all movable too, I like that. Wow, they could be minimized. Crap, where did it go? I don't even know what that was. Station services? Yes, okay. Okay, so let me figure out how to get out of the here. Market, science, corporation, map. ISIS, what's ISIS? Okay, I don't think I wanted ISIS. Yeah. Close that back up. And what about escape? Okay, that takes me into my settings, which I probably should look at. Everything's pretty much turned on. 
So we are on high on everything. Pretty good. Resource cache enabled. Enabling resource cache may improve performance at the cost of memory. HDR high dynamic range rendering adds a layer of realism where metallic effects shine brighter and lights penetrate smoke and fog like light does in the real world. Works particularly well when post-processing is set to high. Note that enabling HDR puts great stress on graphics cards not designed with HDR in mind. Only recommended for top-of-the-line graphics cards. Well, I don't have one, so let's turn this on. <laughs> yeah, okay. Apply. Why not? Um, okay. Now, well, let's see. Audio and chat. I'm going to turn the music down and off. Sound level will turn up some. UI speech level will turn all the way up. World level is all the way down. Huh. I don't know what that is. We'll turn it up below. Um, master level. Quieter weapon sounds. I like that. Okay, voice settings, even able, e voice enabled. Connects you to the e voice server. Once connected, you'll be able to join audio on regular chat channels. Okay, I'll look at that all later. General settings, shortcuts. Now oh, there's a lot of shortcuts. None of which I can see is say exit. So that's just a window. You got combat shortcuts, general shortcuts. Wow. Navigation shortcuts. Ah, there's quick game. Found it. Okay. So since I found Quick Game, let me finish looking at these really quick. I suppose that's been down there this whole time and I just haven't seen it. My bad. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this character creation of Eve. I plan on taking it a lot further than this as we go along. I will not be uploading this on any type of set schedule. Basically, as you may or may not know, if you're new on my channel, you wouldn't know this. Um, but most of my games I upload on a weekly basis. So like my um, Risen videos, they come out once a week on Friday or Saturday. Uh, Game of Thrones comes out once a week on Mondays. Torchlight 2, I'm trying to get to being on Tuesdays it didn't come out until w today Wednesday because of yesterday being Christmas Eve and things just you know, got bumped around for that but Torchlight comes out on Tuesdays Eve is not going to do that Eve's got basically I'm going to play this as much as I possibly can and therefore the videos are going to come out as often as I play it so if I play it once a day then you're going to get an Eve video once a day if I get ambitious in a day and, you know, I get play two or three hours, you know, I'll break it down into smaller chunks and put out, you know, two videos that day. So, or more, depending. I'm going to try keeping the videos around, oh, 30 minutes to maybe as high as an hour, but I don't want to go an hour long if I can help it, which is why I am going to shut up and ask if you like the video go ahead and give me a like on it and if you're not subscribed you've stuck with me this long so why not go ahead and subscribe you know obviously i've done something to hold your interest i don't know what that would be okay so until next time this is sir jaxi fading out